Now, if you can't make it to the big game, it's time to start planning your Super Bowl party. One party staple here in Texas, you know it, guacamole. Oh, yeah. Our Josh Marshall set out to find the best guac in town, and he may have found it in a place, well, you wouldn't expect. Cut it in half, put the tomatoes, I make it fresh. I'd say I'm Bobby Bland, the guacamole man. Uh, I got cilantro, I got avocados, I got tomatoes. Uh, it ain't gonna be bland, I can tell you that. Inside Kroger on Studemont. From Chicago West Side. You'll find him. I was a big fan of Michael Jordan. His guac and a taste test that won't disappoint. They say wow or mmm. I say you just joined my fan club. No, there's no special ingredients. It ain't a secret, it's just a lot of love. What makes this guacamole special? is Chef Bobby Bland. Cut you a lemon. And the life he left. Cut it in half. In Chicago a decade ago. I was game banging. I was selling drugs. I was going down the wrong paths. I got on the train. The guy called my godfather. He gave me just enough to get down here and say, don't come back. I want to see you do something with your life. Homeless. Star of Hope took Bland in. After three months, he had a job making guac at NRG under Aramark's top chef. He the one got me doing guacamole. Bobby, do guacamole. I'm like, what's the guacamole? I didn't know. Soon after, a Kroger manager embraced Bland's gift. He called me guacamole man, and then he said, I'm here to guac their socks off, so I don't know. <laughs> Ten years later, the guacamole man <laughs> still doesn't eat guacamole. I'm not into it. I don't even eat the guacamole. I just make it for everybody else to get the to get the enjoyment out of it. Chef Bland's second chance at life has opened doors he never imagined. In his next 10 years, he has even bigger dreams. Chef Bobby Bland will be sitting in a nice home that he's want to get built up from the ground up and still working for Kroger's because I, I consider them my family. Until then, you can find him. I will sell. His guac. I get down in it with my hand. And a smile <laughs> waiting inside. <laughs> Now, guys, we realize that calling anything the best, well, that's subjective. The biggest difference about this guacamole is knowing who it comes from, where he's been, and the heart that he puts into it. And, of course, it doesn't hurt that it's pretty darn good, guys. How can a guy named Chef Bland make something that uh, <laughs> tastes, has such great flavor? He says it's anything but bland. Yeah, and that's I exactly right. That. And you're not getting out of the studio with that. I no, can guarantee sure. guys. Yeah. I've had my share yeah. of his guac now for years. Let me tell you, it is good stuff. It is. You can tell he puts a lot of pride in it. You can taste it. With love. All right. Speaking